Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll tackle a common problem. OTG, on-the-go connections not working on Android devices. If you're struggling to get your OTG-supported devices like flash drives, keyboards, or controllers connected, don't worry. I'll guide you through three methods to troubleshoot and fix OTG connection issues. So, let's get started. For our first method, we'll make some changes to the USB configuration settings in the Developer Options menu. Follow these steps closely. Open your device's settings. Once you are in the settings, scroll down to the very end. You will see About Phone option. Simply tap on About Phone. Once you are in, now find the Software Information section. Once you find it, then tap on it once you are in. Now, look for an option called Build Number. Once you find it, now you'll need to tap on it seven times to enable developer mode. When you start tapping, you should see a notification saying, you're about to enable developer mode. Continue until you see the confirmation. Once you're done, it will ask you about your phone password for security purposes. Simply enter your password. Once done, build number will be enabled on your mobile once the build number is enabled. Now, go back to the main settings page. Once you are in the main settings page, simply scroll down to the very end and you should see a new option called developer options. Simply tap on it. In developer options, scroll down and scroll down more until you find networking section. Once you find it, scroll down a little bit more and you will see default USB configuration option. Tap on it and select transferring files as the default setting. This option helps ensure that whenever you connect an OTG device, your phone recognizes it as a file transfer device. This step alone may resolve your OTG issue. If it doesn't, let's move on to method two. If your OTG is still not working, let's enable USB debugging, another feature in developer options that can help with connection issues. Here's how. Go back to developer options main screen. Once you are there, scroll down until you see USB debugging. Once you find it, simply toggle on this option, and then you'll get a prompt asking for confirmation, so go ahead and select OK. Enabling USB debugging allows for more stable connections, and it's often necessary for OTG to work smoothly. If you still can't connect, don't worry, let's try one more method. For our third and final method, we'll access some hidden USB settings on your device. To do this, open your phone app, and then open the keypad, and then enter star hash 0808 and then finally hash. After you enter this code, you should see a USB settings menu pop up on your screen. In this menu, you'll see a list of options for different USB configurations. Select the first option on this list. This will reset your USB connection settings, which can often solve OTG issues. And that's it. Try connecting your OTG device again and see if it works now. There you have it. Three simple methods to solve OTG connection problems on your Android phone. If one of these methods worked for you, please let us know in the comments which one solved your problem. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.